weekend picks for book lovers, including Women in Sunlight by Frances Mays. What should you read this weekend? USA Today's picks for book lovers include Women in Sunlight, an uplifting novel set in Tuscany, and a new biography of Camilla Parker Bowles. Women in Sunlight by Frances Mays. Crown, 448 pp. Fiction Frances Mays is back under the Tuscan sun, and the forecast for readers is bright. The author of the best-selling 1996 memoir Under the Tuscan Sun brings the magic of Tuscany to life once again in her new novel, intertwining the experiences of five American female expats into one story of loss, courage, healing and renewal. Women in Sunlight follows a trio of Southerners, ages 59, 64 and 69, from orientation at a retirement community to a leap of faith escape to Italy, through the eyes of their new neighbor, Kit Rains. A poet and prose writer, Kit is challenging herself to write a novel memorializing her friend Margaret, a fellow expat and writer who has recently died. The three Southern women arrive across the road in San Rocco a small village outside of Florence, as Kit, who's lived there for 13 years, is in her garden, struggling to begin her book. She concludes that she'll write about them all, her old friend and her three new ones, whom she hears about then meets in their small village where news travels fast. USA Today says out of four. Endearing. There's a constant sense of revelry with meals, seasonal menu planning, blind wine tastings among friends. The Duchess, Camilla Parker Bowles and the Love Affair that Rocked the Crown by Penny Jenner, Harper, 320 pp, non-fiction This biography of the second wife of Prince Charles makes the case that Camilla Parker Bowles, aka the Duchess of Cornwall, actually has saved the monarchy by making the heir to the throne happy. USA Today says. An admiring reassessment of the woman once known as the most hated in the United Kingdom. Selfie how we became so self-obsessed and what it's doing to us by Will Store, Overlook Press, 416 pp, non-fiction despite its trendy title, Selfie is not a frivolous book about taking photographs of oneself, instead the author strives to fathom personhood, who we are and how we became that person. USA Today says one half. An ambitious survey of the influences that make us who we are. The Italian Teacher by Tom Rochman, Viking. 352 pp, fiction the story of Charles Pinch Bavinsky, who grows up in the shadow of his famous father, a brazen artistic genius. USA Today says. Poignant, touching. Rochman is one of, literary fiction's brightest, newest voices. Hunting El Chapo, the inside story of the American lawman who captured the world's most wanted drug lord by Andrew Hogan and Douglas Century, Harper, 352 pp. Nonfiction A memoir from the former Drug Enforcement Administration special agent who led the years long manhunt in Mexico to capture notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. USA Today says. Captivating. This may be the most authentic glimpse inside the world of El Chapo, because Hogan actually went there and did what few thought possible. Contributing reviewers Ashley Day, Maria Punt, David Hollihan, Don Oldenburg.